the software testing tips and tricks channel so in this video we will be talking about authentication so in previous video i have already created a, a detailed tutorial about basic shared account in all test so in that uh, what we were doing is we are storing one account uh, for login and we are using across the test so whenever you are running the test uh, that test will be automatically be authenticated and that will use same uh, account so i have created it, that video in my channel so it's the last video that i have created learn basic authentication with this example uh, you can click on i button and watch it if you want so in this uh, uh, one uh, we are talking about this moderate one so one account per parallel worker so if you are running your test in parallelly so you, if that when you run that uh, you see like five workers created four workers created or you can also tell uh, while running the command how many workers you want and based on that uh, you can uh, write the code such a way that all parallel workers use their auth different authentication account so for that you need to create those account and uh, they can use it so let's uh, start how we can do that so before that uh, my channel got approved for thanks button so if you found something useful in this channel you can uh, press thanks button and you can uh, thanks me with some money and also you can subscribe and uh, share it to other QA friends so let's start so here <coughs> i have created one feature.ts file so under playwright you need to create one fixtures.ts so uh, it, this is same as what we have seen in the uh, documentation so i am going documentation by documentation so i this is playwright and slash fixtures.ts and i have copied that only things when you copy that what you get is you get error for acquire account and that method won't be found see so i will uh, explain this code and uh, i have put in my login here so i am using this uh, practice example.com login so i don't have any site where i can do multiple logins but uh, i will explain how you can do that if you have that uh, in your company or somewhere so here we are using this login and we are providing this username password and login and we are ensuring that uh, it got successfully so this is what i heard it now how this works right so what you need to do is first of all uh, once you create this playwright picture file and copy this code and uh, put your login detail uh, wherever you are running the test so i am running test in my example spec.ts so here like what you need to do you, you can write this fixture so here like mostly when we import this test dot x test and x expect what we uh, import it from just playwright but here like we need to import it from playwright fixtures so it will run those playwright fixtures first and use their uh, state so i am going to fixture dot ts again and i am explaining now this what is it so here what they are doing is uh, here they are taking expose star from playwright test that what we used to do and here what the first thing they are doing is they are taking the ids so here see so for each work storage state like first of all they are creating work storage state and uh, for each worker and uh, they are now doing what they are taking the id of that from the parallel index so they are taking the it id of the worker and i am just logging id so you know like how it looks like so i have run this so it's so the id is one id is zero so this is the it of parallel index so it's mostly zero starts from zero one two three four five so if you are running six it uh, it the id of the workers are zero one two three four five and uh, <coughs> what they are doing is from that id they are creating json file one dot json two dot json and storing in file name and if that file name is exist then they are creating they are using the state from the same only so they are storing authentication in that file and they are using that file only but if that file is not created they will create new file so this is how it will work now this is like uh, important make sure we authenticate in a clean environment by unsettling storage state so we are uh, keeping our uh, 
environment clean so what we are doing is storage state we are making it undefined before running now what we are doing is we are logging that so that i already explained so with with this website i am logging that and uh, this once login is done what i am doing is in storage state page dot context i am loading this file and the, using this file and uh, i am uh, putting this and after this closing this and scope is that worker only so like now whenever each worker runs it it will use this authentication with this username and password so let's try running so when i run this so let's uh, let me delete the screenshot so this in previous video also i have used same so now if i running this with three workers right so it will start running so i am running this example spec.ts and using three workers i have only two tests so it will use only two workers so the workers id is 0 and 1 and uh, i am not authenticating anything here so if you directly go through this url without authentication it won't work so let me show you like uh, here i don't have any authentication so if i go here without authentication it say you must log in this area but i i already using that authentication so see here it said like secure app page for authentication testing practice welcome to the secure area so it got authenticated and also in screenshot i have both the tests we are showing is got authentication so we are using this authentication from the this fixer.ts file so this is how it works you don't need to modify anything here in playwright config.ts so in before one previous one we have uh, modified here but in this we don't have to modify anything here only we need to do is we need to export it from playwright fixer now i am explaining how you can uh, run multiple right so it is a uh, better uh, explain the document itself so when you go to document it again so what they are doing is they are creating accurate account and uh, in this account they are using this so if you go here in the code so before this using this username and password it should come from the account so what you can do is your id is passed so if my zero worker came here right so based on zero it should take username and password that i assigned for zero worker for one it should take username and password that i uh, assigned for worker number one so what i am doing is uh, i am taking this uh, account username and account password so for that like uh, i need to write this acquire account method such that it will give me correct username and password so for that what you can do is inside id inside this dot org you can create new file and you can say like account dot json and in the account.json you can create one json where like uh, your id is zero username so i am not writing in json format but uh, just understand like uh, it, it is a json parent so if this id is zero and for that uh, password we should use So this is how like you said create like username equal to username one and password equal to password one like that. So you can create that JSON and from this JSON you can bring that username and password and this uh, account.json file should remain in your local and whenever you are running CICD it should pass. So if I have five test username passwords what I can do is I can use that five username and passwords and for each worker it will use one 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 so what will happen there so when you are running it it should take uh, from each one and uh, so like when to use so here I am showing your test modifies server side state for example one test checks for rendering of the setting page and while the other test is changing for the setting so now both uh, using other login right so user one will not be affected for user two so this is the recommend when your modify server side state and uh, this is what you need to use when not to use so your test do not modify any shared server side state in this case all the tests can use a single shared account 
so like uh, if i am setting in uh, one uh, change and it gets changed in other user as well right so in those cases like it should not use and we should use it basic one only so this is how it should work so in now next video i will show you like how you can authenticate with api request and that is what currently we are using so guys that was the much like i think this will help you and uh, uh, if you have uh, if you helped something uh, please like this video and comment that out and share it to your friends also subscribe don't forget to subscribe this channel and uh, follow us on the social media i have given the links in the description thank you